hello everybody you're welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by again if this is your first time stopping by you're welcome my name is yuki please 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 before any further ado please click on the subscribe button it doesn't take anything from you it's actually really very free and it really does help me a lot thank you guys so much so if you would like to see how i achieved this beautiful Igbo bridal look please watch to the end this hair was slayed by big glam makeup like she did a great job on this hair i didn't even think that it was going to come out looking like this but it came out looking so beautiful yes guys so basically she's using the echo styling gel on my model's hair and she did that into a ponytail then she attached an attachment to it so now she's just trying to tuck in the edges of her hair She's basically using some bobby pins to pin the hair at the back to make sure that it is firm. And then I'm showing you how we made the weave that we're going to attach to the hair. Basically divided an attachment into three, started weaving it. So I used two and a half attachments for this style. Yes guys, so that's what it looks like before you start attaching it. And then she went ahead to start attaching it at the back. Can you see how beautiful it's looking already? She started using the bead to beautify it. Wow, it came out like I couldn't even thank her enough. Like she's so talented guys okay moving on to the makeup this is my model bare-faced <laughs> so beautiful i know right so we're jumping straight into the makeup right now the very first thing i did after using a skin toner on her face i applied the pons primer on her face And then I went into the Nuban Beauty foundation in Owenu. I'm just applying that with a brush first. And then I continued with a beauty blender. Then I went into the brush again. Just trying to make sure everything is evenly shared. Blending everything together. I tried to blend it to her neck as well. And then I started to conceal underneath her eyes girl concealer in warm honey I apply with a brush first I leave it for some time to get tacky a bit before I start blending and then I set it also I use the classic setting spray so I am blending the concealer underneath her eyes and I'm trying as much as possible not to move it towards the end of her face to make her face look wider 
so i'm just blending it in that particular space using the blush on her cheeks then i started to set underneath her eyes I made sure to blend it very well. I told her to look up, then I blended so that there's no crease underneath. Then I started blending with the LA Girl Pro powder, face powder. And then I went into my Helene C setting powder again. I used that to do a reverse contour. So guys, now I'm going into the NYX Jumbo Pencil. I'm using that as an eyeshadow primer. I'm basically just blending it all over her eye area. And then after that, I started to apply this pigment by Y Glam Beauty it's in the shade cosmic and it's called twinkle pigment something like that it's really beautiful like it's it looks like different colors like green and purple all all at the same time it's really really beautiful so guys i strongly recommend this you should check it out on their page I didn't even need to do too much like it was popping everywhere to get like so easy and so beautiful at the same time after that I went into my meat matte palette and I started to use the dark brown shade to blend the crease area to blend the pigment into the crease color which is brown so that's what I'm doing right now I really took my time to blend it out so it doesn't have any harsh line and then after that I went into my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette and I'm using that shade right there it kind of looks like it's a little bit of red and a little bit of brown at the same time so i use that to blend the eyeshadow towards the brow bone area i use that to blend it into the brown And then I went into my Marbrook liquid eyeliner. I'm just using that to line her eyes. And now to the brows. brush the brows upwards then I started to shade it in with a MAC eyebrow pencil I try to shade in an upward direction that's where I love my brows to look natural and feathered just like that and then i use this brush i just dipped it in a little bit of foundation hack foundation color and then i just used it to brush 
the brows upwards to give it a tinted look so now i am concealing the brows i'm using warm honey la girl in the shade warm honey i'm using that very lightly i didn't apply too much and then i started to blend it into the eyeshadow this took a while but i needed to make sure that there are no harsh lines so you need to take your time to blend everything out <laughs> my mother is feeling herself already Then I'm going into the Mark Brook eyeliner. So use that underneath her eyes. That's the dry eyeliner. Next, I'm using my favorite Big Lam lashes. I'm just applying that on her, on top of her natural lashes. And now I'm using a mascara to blend her own lashes to the false lashes and I use a little bit of mascara on her lower lashes so now I'm dusting off the excess powder I basically just put my brush in her face powder and I use that to dust it all off so now I went into her lips I'm using a brown lipstick to line her lips then I went into Period Cosmetics Lipstick And then I started to blend everything together This combination came out looking so beautiful Now I'm just going over it again with a gloss Then I set her face again using the classic setting spray. After that, I went into the Flawless Ivy Highlighter It's a dust highlighter and it's so beautiful And now I'm just making sure that everything is fully blended together. Dusting of the excess powder. I'm blending towards her neck as well. Now I went into the Nia Mist Spray. I'm just using that on her neck area. And I'm blending everything just to make her neck shiny and popping, you know. So guys we've come to the end of today's video i really really hope that you enjoyed watching today's video please 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 again do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed it really does help me every single time you comment and subscribe on this channel we're all about beauty skincare makeup and lifestyle feel free to share this tutorial to your friends and family no when you subscribe they don't charge you when you subscribe it is absolutely free please 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 click on the subscribe button it really does help me a lot and do not forget to comment i want to know what tutorials you would like to see on this channel okay thank you guys so 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 much for watching thank you for stopping by again i hope everyone is staying safe and practicing social distancing thank you guys 
I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe and take care of yourself. Bye.